February 15th here in Kansas. And uh, we had rain yesterday, not a lot, but maybe, maybe, I don't know, less than half an inch, which was good. But we've got snow coming. Yesterday we were predicted to get six inches. Today they're telling us two inches. We don't know, but regardless here on February 15th, we are preparing for winter weather to return. It's cold today and breezy and it, the temps are gonna just be falling all day long down to an 18 degree temp. And I know for those of you not interested in the weather report, that's cool. I'm really not either, except I have to know the weather so I know how to prepare for appropriate care, animal husbandry for these horses. And so when I'm telling you about the weather, impending or current, I'm doing so because it impacts what it is we do with the animals. So we are putting out a bale of brome hay. Why brome? Some of you have already heard me say this. We're not big fans of brome. Brome, for the most part, is too high in sugar for horses. It is designed as a cattle feed, in particular dairy cattle. Um, and so we don't use it very often. But when it's going to be cold and the horses are going to be turned out like horses are supposed to be, they're going to be a little more exposed to the elements. Yes? They do have a great big huge running shed and yes they can choose to go into this running shed for any kind of protection that they want it's 100 feet long <clears throat> but for the most part those of us who have horses know they prefer to stand out in the element so we're going we know they're going to have to be generating more heat in there um basically their cecum for the most part and that requires additional forage and for that forage to be a, little, be a little higher in calories in particular carbohydrates we don't mind during this particular kind of uh, weather that's coming in whether we get two inches of snow or six inches of snow it's going to be 18 degrees tonight and it's going to be blowing hard they tell us and so that could be wind chills in the sub-zero so this is what animal husbandry is about you do the right thing you get it done in advance as much as possible so that these animals can be as prepared as possible to get through this weather without any um you know loss of weight because if they lose weight we got to refeed them well that doesn't make any sense when we can feed them in advance so yeah i know it's a weather report but we've got all kinds of prairie grass out here for them to eat if they don't want brome which as you've heard me say is our preferred but uh, brome for today so in addition to preparing for winter, we also prepare for just the normal hierarchical uh, activities of our horses. You'll notice that lane is not real wide. So if our more dominant horses come and, and go first to that hay, they're not gonna let the less dominant horses go past them. So we bring some of the hay here and we put it out where either the dominant horses can go first or if the dominant horses go on down the lane, then the less dominant horses still have access to brome along this fence line. Hey, need to make sure he rolls it out. So he was going to roll it where it's going to run right into that feeder. I need him to put it right there. It does a couple of things. Number one, it provides a barrier on this fence line right here all the way down so that no horse can come in from this side and run the others off. Anyway, it's all about preparation, being alert, paying attention, and anticipation.